and five, four, three. Welcome to Peacekeeper Reaction. My name is Nathan. Thank you for joining us today, you guys. Uh, it's a very special episode, you could say. You could say that this episode was very special, and indeed, I would concur. And now, uh, <laughs> oh shit, I started talking and I had no idea where I was going, um, but uh, um, we're going to be uh, continuing our look at artist extraordinaire Taylor Swift, um, and uh, we're going to be going back to the Reputation Stadium Tour. And now, uh, there was some guy in the comment uh, section, I don't know who it was, you know, and there's no way to ever find out, but he was all like, oh, well, you know, I hate to say this, but you bean, bean, bean. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he was saying, you know, you're doing a fan edit, and you're missing all the cinematography. Well, I am Mr. Cinematography, and uh, so I just want you guys to know, I will be watching the... Um, official Netflix release, but uh, I'm uncomfortable with putting uh, Netflix copyright material on YouTube unless it's already there. So I will be in its stead um, putting the uh, fan edit um, uh, of the video. But so we're already up to Delicate um, is the song. And uh, so let's just dive right in, you guys. This is Taylor Swift, Delicate. Are we having fun yet? Oh, good. You know, you may notice this. Not sure if you picked up on it yet. I'm pretty sure you have, though. Have you noticed that you have a light-up bracelet on your wrist? There they are. So pretty. Um, but that's not the only thing about them. The reason why I wanted to have these on the tour is because this is actually my very first all-stadium tour, which... Oh. Which has been so, so much fun because of you. Um, so, uh, one thing I do know about stadiums is they're just massive places to play. And so I wanted to make sure that no matter what, I could see every single one of you in these stadiums. So if you're on the top, top deck, last row, and you think I can't see you, that would be incorrect. I can see absolutely every person in the stadium. And I can see you dancing, I can see you throwing your hands in the air. And on top of that, I can hear, I can hear that it really seems like every single person in this crowd has memorized every single word to the songs and is not just singing them, but like... screaming them. If I had to take a guess and say the one thing that probably everybody in this stadium has in common, I think I would say that one thing would be that we all like the feeling of finding something real. Like, you know, finding real friendship, or finding real love, or somebody who really gets you, or someone who's really honest with you. I think, I think that's what we're really all looking for in life, and I think that the things that can scare us the most in life are the things that we think will threaten the prospect of us finding something real. For example, having a bad reputation in our mind could get in the way of you finding real friendship, real love, real acceptance, people you really fit in with because you think to yourself, what if they've heard something about me that, that isn't true? What if they've got these preconceived notions about me that they heard from gossip and then they never even want to meet me and then we'll never know what could have happened why some of us, meaning most if not all of us, are sort of afraid of having a bad reputation because we're so scared of something fake like gossip or a rumor about you or a name you got called getting in the way of you finding something real. And 
so when it comes down to that fear and that anxiety it's just all really delicate don't you think Dallas is for the best my reputation's never been worse so you must like me for me Can't make any promises now, can we, babe? That you can make me a dream. So let's uh, stop it there. That was uh, very fascinating. First of all, before we talk about this song and this performance, we need to do an episode of Taylor Swift's Dress. Yes. Welcome back to another episode of Taylor Swift's Dress. I'm your host, Nathan. And I got to say, I love this dress. Taylor Swift, uh, she has great style. Everybody knows that. I'm not telling you something news. This isn't a news break. Um but wow, I really, uh, I think she, I don't know, uh, her shape or whatever, her curves uh, really work for her. She really has, she can really pull off any dress. I mean, she's so beautiful, whatever. But uh, I really like this uh, 
texture of this dress and uh, the colors uh, really goes great with her blue eyes. Um, and uh, well, this has been Taylor Swift's dress. Thank you for another episode. Uh, stay tuned. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about this song. So uh, I really like this. And now um, I'm, a, you know, um, uh, from a different time, you can say. So uh, I grew up, I went to junior high um, in the 1990s. And uh, I uh, grew up in kind of a small community um, in Calgary, Alberta. And uh, um, I had two older brothers who really got into a lot of trouble. And so uh, I know what it's like to have a reputation before... You can even um, uh, show people who you are. They already have these preconceived notions about you. And so uh, by the time I went to my junior high, um, the teachers already thought, oh, here's another one of this from this family, you know, uh, who's going to be trouble. And so it sort of became a self-fulfilling prophecy. I sort of was that because uh, that was already put on to me. Um now, uh, so I, I really, this song really was making me think about that. And also uh, uh, about what it would be like now to kind of be in the world, uh, to go to school, high school, junior high, in the world of social media, and how it must be so much more awful, um, with because with, people are just able to talk shit nonstop. I mean, you can really have no break from it. Uh, you know, back in the day, after school, you went home. If you wanted, you can just turn the world off. You didn't have any, you know, until the next day, until the morning you walked into school, you know, you didn't have to worry about um, any of this stuff. But uh, so I, I can really see, and especially even in my time, um, in the 1990s, when, um, uh, you know, we, um, uh, there was a lot of gossip and especially about women, I think, and of girls and like, oh, I like this girl. All oh, you do? Well, I heard this. Well, wait till you hear this, you know, and, and I, I try to think that maybe I'm better than that. I would never let that, uh, what people say influence uh my opinion about people I, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt and stuff but i can see how you know taylor swift's talking about a, a way different level like she's a celebrity her reputation is you know something that is on the news you know people are talking about it there's videos on youtube all about it you know what i mean uh she makes a reference about a scarf the fucking sh internet explodes you know uh but i can see how uh, young women especially could definitely relate to um, to this uh, um, kind of uh, concept of, of reputation and about uh, people ju judging you, you know, and uh, um, I think it's way worse for women than it is for men. Uh, like we've said in, in, in previous uh, uh, Taylor Swift videos, the whole notion of a player or a, a slut or whatever is so confusing to me but uh um uh i can see how this would hit home with uh with young taylor swift fans who probably deal with this type of shit um even though on a macro kind of level so um i really like this uh concert um and uh yeah so uh let me know uh what you think about this in that comment section and if you want to program the show support the show uh there's only one way to do it that's uh patreon.com slash peacekeeper reaction um and uh you can sign up there for ten dollars a month you get one song every month for twenty dollars you get two for thirty dollars you get three you can literally program the show and uh so uh there you have it for peacekeeper i'm nathan play safe i can put my arm back on and this is now, all ladies in the house say ow. Zip the dude off, zip the day. Let me tell you what I hear most people say. I'm not a quillu or a hallucinogen. Never ran, never will, never gone, never went. You're just a squirrel trying to get a nut. Looking sexy, sexy with that big old butt. For my mother, just I guess you would say I'm the champ. Like your mother.
mother went to jail for selling fake food stamps. I'm the original man with the material. I eat Captain Crunch or Fruit Loop cereal. Saw this freak in the middle of the swamp. I used to live in Brentwood, Coral Room and Patch Yard.